Hello everybody, and guess who it is again? Hint, it is me again. I didn't do my computer in the right position. Okay, so I'm so happy because God just totally blessed um, these four extra services that we had. So now, because I'm going to go to every service because I'm on prayer at the end of each one, I'm like so filled with the Holy Spirit. So, and then I have to tell you guys the awesome things. So it's like being able to do banners like for like 10 songs or so of the last two days. It's just like feeling a deeper anointing for that. And I also, for those of you who are not my Facebook friends, um, I um, said uh, last weekend, anyways, I have been praying for me to connect with some little girl that God would use to start, you know, that she'll start using banners with me because that's always how it starts at the other churches. So I went to this thing called Battle, Battle Cry that they did before the first two services were going to start. Um, and I was in the back with my banners and I noticed this girl and her sister who had been sitting in the front row came back and sat at the table right where I was worshiping with banners. And I was like, oh yeah, this is a girl I'm supposed to ask. So I give her a banner to use and she was like, just so much anointing was flowing out of her and it was like oh my gosh yes this is the one and it always starts with that one kid worshiping with the banner and everybody else wants to join in so and her name is Harper and she's probably Juniper's age uh, so just really special girl um, so it was just awesome uh, and I didn't see her again for the services today so I hope that I will run into her again because that was just awesome but that always like then I order more banners and then more kids come up after that so also I met another friend in my prayer time uh, whose name is Christy and I'm giving her the link to my video um, but but he is also a fiery prayer warrior. It was just awesome to see what God was doing in both services this weekend. So I was um, the first since I've been in, you know, four extra services. Then that I saw a lot of babies and cute kids. Um, but I did see one mama nursing her baby, and that one usually uh, makes me really sad about not having my babies. But it's amazing because being in that, then worshiping so much, it's like I'm not even feeling that sadness anymore. So that's like, thank you, Jesus. Um, yes, and it's just, you know, less than three months that I'll get to go see my babies again. Okay, now on to stuff that we got in prayer. Um, so, um, okay. Yes, uh, Renee saw... Uh, there's little fire in the hearts. It's like a burning ember. Um, and uh, as that burns away the dead things, uh, it makes us overcomers. So God likes to use um, the craps, uh, you know, to purify us. Um, so, and I saw um, these butterflies flowing around in the service and um, that um, God reminded me that like butterflies, I will strip the ones that struggle the most in their cocoons are the most beautiful and the most colorful. Um, and so it was like God was showing me that was happening to people in services. Um, so if that one's for you guys, just we can all take some from that. That you know, it's like, yes, it's okay to struggle because it's gonna be worth it when you know Jesus is there with you. Uh, okay, oh, yes, and Renee also, um saw so there's like this path in the darkness and you couldn't see much and there was like briars and pr patches i mean thorns um but as people just continue down the path like that there's this golden pathway underneath and um yes it brings that unique uh, uniqueness to everybody who brings gifts uh, of the spirit and so okay i think that's everything um and um remember that i oh yes and before i forget the song for today is all right 
Um, I am not alone. No, no, my chains are gone. Amazing Grace, that's the one I'm gonna use. And if you guys remember, uh, I was reading this one. Uh, the title is Entanglements, but it was too long, so I'm splitting it up. And so I'm gonna rest, read the rest today. Um, okay. It was okay. There. Okay, guys, it'll take me a minute to get. All right, there are daytime functions that to a conscientious worker often result in a crush. If the countless other things that need to be done, but are missed if they are not done. It was so late when I got home, said one man speaking to those, sorry. All right guys, give me just a second. Okay, quiet time. The term is Wagner. Descriptive of the very manner in which we receive an inflooding of the Lord's life. And there is a closely related entanglement over work. Who has co not come under the weight of this one? The more we love our work, the keener we are to do it well. But there is another aspect of this, and I would not even touch it, touch on it, except that is terribly um, common and so deadly in its entangling. I am referring to the perhaps unrealized ambition that drives us to work so hard, a love for the praise of men, which is not just as, just which is not just an entanglement, but a deadly snare. To those who are entangled in the way I have described, there will always come a need to exercise the special energy that comes from a life lived in close proximity, close union with God. It may be a trial from which our flesh shrinks in dismay. We may sense a coming, oh, a coming conflict the air itself thick with good and evil forces. Wrestling and the evil is so terribly strong, yet, and yet we feel bound by invisible cords and we ask, why do I feel so weighted down, so hindered? In such a moment, we may call upon the God of fire to burn our bonds and to set us free to fight the fight to make us strong to stand peaceful and strong in heavenly places with Jesus Christ. But we fail. Is it because the Lord has moved farther away from us than he used to be? The heart breaks with the thought. If only I had spent more time with God, I would have had many more power. The powers of darkness are as strong as ever. Times have not changed since the days when the Apostle Paul wrote, for our struggle is not against flesh and blood, Ephesians six twelve. Our fight with the spirit of evil is just as desperate now as it was then. The, con the conditions of battle, of battle are still the same. This kind does not go out by prayer and fasting. That's from Matthew 17. We cannot allow ourselves to be entangled and at the same time believe that we will have spiritual power. So now it's time for the prayer. Our Father, you are the one who rescues us from the snares that are set by the great enemy of the soul. We do praise you. Open our eyes, Father, to the entanglements I've, we've stumbled onto. Give us godly understanding and let your power, powerful grace show the way of escape. All right, we finally made it through that one, and I think that's all I have to tell you guys. But I look forward to talking to you when I have more to say.